Hello to the meme world. The reason we're gathered here today is because of you guys and how uh, popular this song has become. We are number one. Now look at this net that I just found. When I say go, be ready to throw. Go! Throw it on him, not me! Oh, let's try something else. I think Stefan Karl uh, plays Robbie Rotten, called me up and told me about it. He said, have you seen this uh, on the on YouTube? It's People are making versions of it. Just, just a few people to begin with. Uh, and I was really intrigued. I, I didn't have a clue and I was so happy to see people playing with it. You know, uh, Stefan and I got to be really good friends over the course of working on Lazy Town. We just hit it off immediately when we first met during season one. And, you know, we became really good friends and we remained friends when we were not shooting. And actually ending up being um, uh, the meme of the year on Reddit was kind of crazy too. When we realized how widely spread this, this whole joke was, uh, you know, I was really happy about it. It, was, it, it, it really meant something because um, after all these years working on Lazy Town, we really felt this was something. Um, and uh, it's been amazing to read what people have said on uh, the GoFundMe page, uh, sent me personally, tweeted to me, or sent me in, even an email. Um, and, and I don't know how, but some of them have even uh, managed to get my phone number and called me all the way to Iceland. <laughs> I'm Juliana Moriello, and I played Stephanie on the show Lazy Town. I'm Chloe Wang, and I also played Stephanie on Lazy Town. We both had the fortune of performing alongside Stefan Carl, who played Lazy Town's villain, Robbie Rotten. Stefan has recently been diagnosed with cancer, and we'd like to ask you to help. He will be recuperating for up to a year following his surgery. We're asking all Lazy Town fans and Robbie Rotten fans to go visit our GoFundMe page. You can make a donation and help him and his family during this difficult time. Stefan has spent his entire professional career making children laugh all around the world. Now please join us in doing something for him. Thank, Thank you. To me, it's about giving, and that's why I can do 600 shows of Grinch. And people always ask, oh, isn't it boring to go 600 times on stage? Well, it can be tiring sometimes, especially when you're doing four shows a day. But once you're out there and you're giving, that's, you know, there's nothing like it. Well, as the writer of the show, you know, it was great because he's such a complete performer. Uh, all you would maybe have to say is Robbie Rotten enters the scene and does something funny. I mean, we always try to give him more than that, but he always gave us far more than we asked for. And um, watching him on the set was like watching one of the best physical comedians from Chaplin to Buster Keaton to Dick Van Dyke. It's a genius. Because I was involved in working on the script or the story for the script. So I knew pretty early on what the song was going to be about, if you know what I mean. So uh, I knew what it was not going to be energetic, powerful, slow, which rarely happened. Uh, and as soon as I was on those meetings, God, and I knew what the topic was going to be. You know, this is um, funny because I always, before I got offered to do Robbie Rotten, I dreamed about creating a character that would be something like Wile E. Coyote. That mm -hmm. opportunity came to me uh, when they offered me to play Robbie Rotten. So, um, uh, if you ask me, I've already played my dream role. Uh, <laughs> um, is Stefan our true number one? Stefan is always number one. My, my fondest memories are from season one, season two, when we were starting out and everything was fresh and new. <laughs> Hey, hey! 
It really touches my heart. Thank you so much. And goodbye, everybody, and keep memeing! <laughs>